Hello, welcome back to Dragon Age Origins with me at Nidhi. Uh, last time we dealt with a couple cultists and oh, before we venture forth to the mountaintop, let's give Alistair his level up. Uh, I think we'll just go with, well, one strength. I think 42 might be the highest amount of strength needed for any piece of gear, so... We have that and the rest in dexterity so he can dodge nicely. Also up here, I mean, we haven't found... Well, a reaver could be gained from Ogren perhaps, but we haven't seen him yet. Well, we should go to the camp and speak with people, give them gifts. Uh, usually I would want champion, but I have no idea where we will get the champions. Specialization. Ah oh, well, let's just keep it like that for now. And we'll unlock the last shield skill for Alistair. There we go. So we do have still a couple specializations that we don't know where to find, or I don't know where to find. Wow, they're walking around with, with uh, like they have huge swag. <laughs> All right, hello, dragon. So, would you reason with us or just sleep there? Area unlocked, mountain top. Now let's see. Looks like it's a relatively small area. Be cautious. A dragon such as this is better to avoid than engage. Are you sure? I like engaging dragons. I mean, we've killed Flemeth. We have killed the dragon in the other lair. Have we killed more dragons than that? Possibly. Uh, but yes, where where is it actually? There's the ruined temple. There's caverns. Caverns are in temple. Uh, yeah, we'll have to see what we have to do. I think we'll just make our way over to those chests. And see what... Oh, there's the dragon. So if we are in the mountain top, we can summon the dragon with the horn. Slow rune. It is begun. Longbow, dragon tooth, tier 7. And chainmail boots. Cleaned out the inventory a bit, but it's almost full again. That's kind of sad. But yes, uh, we can't go there. Kind of tempted to just summon the dragon and kill it. Can I do that? I mean, we can put down a save. Position ourselves on this area here. Let's put down a save. Now, map. It's not a big map around here. Uh, probably is a key item. It isn't. It's a various item or... There it is, Colgrim's horn. Sound this horn from the top of the mountain, overlooking the village of Haven, to summon the High Dragon. Don't think that's the location. Must move closer to the dragon's perch. Uh, so do I have to stand below it here? Or is that just not the right place for it? Okay, we called it. There it is. A high dragon. Um, Morrigan did take quite a bit of damage, as did win. So that's that. Let's do a group heal. And position ourselves a bit better. Also, whilst we're fighting a dragon, I think it's probably another fire-based dragon. So we'll take ice arrows 
as our ammunition of choice. Uh, Alistair, you engage, please. Okay, group heal came through. Can we position our ranged characters outside of the range of the dragon for a bit? Like that. Alright. Seems to work. So, Archer, what about a nice little shot here? Also, Morrigan, can you heal yourself? Okay, that's great. Alistair is flying around a bit, but that's okay. How much does Ice do? Ice deals decent damage. Very decent damage. Also, let's go with an, a Storm of the Century, actually. Let's do that. Uh, yep, yeah, Wind is healing Alistair, that's good. Alistair, can you drink a potion? Or are you not greater health potion, if possible? So there we have that. No, he can't. Ah, oh, that's ah, that's that's bad. That's terrible. So these attacks are quite powerful. Can we do the storm? Okay, it didn't quite leave. Let's just redistribute our people. Win. I need you to get. Alistair back up and running. Um, you don't have the mana for that, which is bad. Let's just drink some health potion. Now, life ward on Nidhi first. Got a feeling that there's the next damage coming in. There we go. So, Alistair's back up. Should heal him a bit more, probably. Can't do that right now, sadly. Um, let's use ice attacks. Can we kick the dragon? We can, but it didn't work. Okay. That's valuable. Okay, there we have the fire burst. Now, Alistair, can you drink a health potion, that would be great. And Nidhi as well, perhaps a lesser one. Morrigan, can you go over there? Stunned, okay, that's bad. That's very bad. Alistair, you need to drink health potions. Alistair, why aren't you drinking health potions? Okay, the dragon landed down there, which means, Alistair, why didn't you drink a health potion? Um, but we have chipped away half its health, which is not bad. Archer to this side, Wynn to this side, please. And Morrigan... No, it's, it's moving again. Okay, everyone up there. Morrigan here. Okay, thank you. Uh, what could we do? We could use Winter's Grasp. That should deal nice damage. It's flying off again. You just keep to this place. That seems to be a good place because Dragon isn't attacking that place all that often. Uh, Win. Heal Alistair, please. I'm here. And Alistair. Where's the dragon? Why is it going back and forth? Please, stop doing that. Fight. Let us do it quickly. Yes, send in Alistair and Morrigan. You need some lyrium. Uh, let's take a lesser potion for now. So we are shooting the dragon. Can we do an arrow of slaying? Can we hit it? I think we hit. That will be a bad fireball coming in. <clears throat> Lyrian potion on win. Well, actually, it 
wasn't that bad. Heal Alistair, please, and put a life ward on Alistair. And Archer, just a bit out of range, please, and drink a health potion. There we go. Morrigan. Uh, ice Winter's Grasp. Away with you. Resisted, of course, of course. Why wouldn't it? Uh, the Archer is attacking, which is great. Alistair should also be going. And it swapped over there. I, I'm pretty grateful that we chose this position where the dragon doesn't seem to land. Let's do another Winter's Grasp. Oh, did we slay it? We slew it. Alright. Not bad, not bad. So we got the High Dragon. <laughs> holy, holy. Uh, <clears throat> yes, that will be taking some time to sift through, will it not? So I'll take the Dragon Scale for sure and the Grandmaster Flame Rune. That sounds like a, a good choice. I mean, we can always just let some loot on the dragon. Deadhead Charge. Minus one willpower, but physical resistance. Mabari Collar. Don't need that, but plus eight attack and eight armor probably isn't bad. Tier seven Kite Shield. That could be good. Uh, heavy plate armor, heavy plate boots. Quite a few tier 7 things that we can grab off of this dragon. Arranged critical chance. Tier 6 arranged critical chance. Yeah, the rest is not that great. Meteor War Axe. Meteor Shear. Uh, tier 6 uh, plus 1 damage. Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay ish. I'll just take the shield. And oh, new quest: Dragon Scale Armor. Uh, Master Wade in Denerim's Market District can make amazing Drake Scale Armor if you give him enough Drake Scales. He seems positively eager to do so. Ah, I see. Dragon Scale Armor. You found a Dragon Scale. Perhaps a Master Armorsmith could do something with this. I see. Cool. Um, was it a different? Drake skin than the other one. Dragon scale, Drake scale. Ah, Drake and Dragon. Good, good. But anyways, uh, the shield. That's the only thing that we have. A pretty old one, tier 5. I mean, it's plus one armor, which means it's up to... Well, actually, it has the same defense... Fatigue. This one is worse, even. Missile deflection, 7.5. Yeah, 1.5 more missile deflection. So... This one has a chance to avoid missile attacks. And plus one armor. Mm, I think it's still not quite sure which one would be better. I think we'll stay with Kaelin's shield for now. Alright. But we killed the dragon. And that's, that's something. Let's put down a save. I hope we don't have to slay multiple dragons to get multiple... Um, let's go for the ruined temple first instead of the gauntlet. Uh, yeah, I hope we don't have to slay multiple dragons for multiple pieces of that drake scale armor. Also, we did slay a dragon already, but apparently that wasn't a high dragon, perhaps? Anyways, there's the ruined temple. Is that like the area we were in already? And we just unlocked a different path to it? Yes, okay, that was the blocked path. 
I see. Okay, now this path has been unblocked. The one where I thought it looked a bit like uh, it would be unblocked at some point. Yes, uh, let's continue on. So that's just a shortcut, so we don't have to walk through the caves again if we should ever leave this place. Which is cool. I mean, that's that's the thing I mentioned. It's it's kind of halfway solution to what I actually want with the quick travel system. It is a shortcut, but it's just not quite enough. At least that's how I feel. Good, so there's nothing around here, so we can just go into the gauntlet. Hope it's not a massive further area. It has some weapons and shields and swords around here, so that's that. So was the dragon that we just slew the... the Ah, looks quite big again. Was the dragon this Andraste they spoke of, or this place. it's different from the rest of the ruins? Or will we just find the the real Andraste? Uh, Andraste's arrows interrupt spell casting. Interesting, and a an red axe, red steel axe. I'll take the arrows. I'll sadly have to throw away a couple things again uh, ah, the inventory honestly here we have the most things and the silver bowls they are just for Selling I think these documents as well the book. I'm not sure so let's just throw those things away And also I think I'll transition to I mean we can unlock each and every chest so there's no Good chance that we'll go back into an area and find all these unlooted things uh, So I think I'll just not loot things Okay, um you must be the guardian, do we know him? Um, I'm here for the urn of sacred ashes. You have come to honor Andraste, and you shall, if you prove yourself worthy. I need the ashes to cure a nobleman. Still, you must prove yourself worthy. It is not my place to decide your worthiness. The gauntlet does that. If you are found worthy, you will see the urn and be allowed to take a small pinch of the ashes for yourself. If not... Well, if not, I'm probably dead. Alright, let's start with it then. Before you go, is something I must ask. I see that the path that led you here was not easy. There is suffering in your past. Your suffering, and the suffering of others. You abandoned your father and mother, leaving them in the hands of Rendon Howe, knowing he would show no mercy. Do you think you failed your parents? Uh, no, I think I had to sort of, they, they made me go. Yeah, no, they made me, well, I had to survive to tell Fergus. Then you do not dwell on past mistakes, neither yours nor someone else's. It's easy for others to judge what you've done in hindsight, but it doesn't make it any better. One wonders what this Guardian's purpose is. Be wary of his traps. It is sometimes difficult to see how our actions affect an outcome, but that does not mean our actions had no effect. And what of those that follow you? 
Alistair Knight and Warden. You wonder if things would have been different if you were with Duncan on the battlefield. You could have shielded him from the killing blow. You wonder, don't you, if you should have died and not him. I... yes. If Duncan had been saved and not me, everything would be better. If I just had the chance, maybe I... Ask your question, Guardian. I am ready. You are ever the advisor, ready with a word of wisdom. Do you wonder if you spout only platitudes, burned into your mind in the distant past? Perhaps you are only a tool, used to spread the word of the Circle and the Chantry. Does doubt ever chip away at your truths? You frame the statement in the form of a question. Yet you already know our answers. There is no sense in hiding, is there? Yes, I do doubt at times. Only the fool is completely certain of himself. And you, Morrigan, Flemeth's daughter, what? Be gone, spirit. I will not play your games. I will respect your wishes. The way is open. Good luck, and may you find what you seek. All right, whatever we have to talk to him about right now. Anyways, there's a book. Maker's first children. Uh, yes, so... Abond abandoning the the uh, idea of looting everything because I have to throw away the most stuff anyway. So we are here in a room with a couple of ghosts. Let's start talking to them. Smallest lark could carry it, while a strong man might not. Of what do I speak? Uh, the smallest guy could carry it, but a uh, uh, strong man might not. Um, uh, plague, probably. That is not of what I speak. Oh, too bad. All right, Ash Wraith. Shall be done. Not too bad. So we have to solve riddles and they will activate doors. All right, Brona. Echoes from a shadow realm, whispers of things yet to come. Thought strange sister dwells in night, is swept away by dawning light. Of what do I speak? Uh, <laughs> indigestion. Could you repeat Echoes that? Echoes from a shadow realm. Whispers of things yet to come. Thought strange sister dwells in night, is swept away by dawning light. Of what do I speak? Um, echoes of echoes to come. Uh, dreams? A dream came upon me as my daughter slumbered beneath my heart. It told of her life and of her betrayal and death. I am sorrow and regret. I am a mother weeping bitter tears for a daughter she could not save. Very well, solve that puzzle or riddle. So, Thane Jarton. I'd neither a guest nor a trespasser be. In this place I belong, that belongs also to me. Of what do I speak? Um... A repeat, please. Probably home. Yeah, let's go for home. It was my dream for the people to have a home of their own, where we would have no masters but ourselves. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, and thus we followed Andraste against the Imperium. But she was betrayed, and so were we. All right. So there's a bit of background, kind of like that. Um, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. The debt of blood must be paid in full. Of what do I speak? Could be cool if they could have the riddle text on top while you can select it so you don't have to repeat the thing. But yeah, I, I for I and so on, vengeance. Yes, my husband Hesarian would have chosen a quick death for Andraste. 
I made him swear that she would die publicly with her war leaders. That all would know the Imperium's strength. I am justice. I am vengeance. Blood can only be repaid in blood. Okay. Kind of grim. Disciple Harvard. The bones of the world stretched towards the sky's embrace. Veiled in white. Like a bride greeting her groom. Of what do I speak? Mountains? Mountains. Yes. I carried Andraste's ashes out of Tabinta into the mountains to the east. Where she could gaze ever into her maker's sky. No more fitting a tomb than this could we find. Alright. So far only one wrong. General Mavarath. A poison of the soul. Nice helmet. Passion's cruel counter. From love she grows, till love lies slain. Of what do I speak? Uh, I uh, need to hear a that again. Poison of the soul, passion's cruel counterpart. From love she grows, till love lies slain. Oh, I see. Yep, yep. I speak? So probably jealousy. Yes, jealousy. Drove me to betrayal. I was the greatest general of the Alamoy. But beside her, I was nothing. Hundreds fell before her on bended knee. They loved her, as did the Maker. I loved her too. But what man can compare with a god? Okay, so Archon Hesarian. She wields the broken sword and separates true kings from tyrants. Of what do I speak? Um She wields, wields the, the broken, broken sword, sword and separates true kings from tyrants. Of what do I speak? Wields the broken sword. Uh Mercy, perhaps? Yes. I could not bear the sight of Andraste's suffering, and Mercy bade me end her life. I am the penitent sinner, who shows compassion as he hopes compassion will be shown to him. I see. And one last one, the Disciple Kathir. No man has seen it, but all men know it. Lighter than air, sharper than any sword. Comes from nothing, but will fell the strongest armies. Of what do I speak? Um, hunger. Let me hear that no again. No man has seen it, but all men know it. Lighter yes. than air, sharper than any sword. Comes from nothing, but will fell the strongest. Yeah, probably armies. hunger. Of what do I speak? Well, let's take hunger. Yes, hunger was the weapon used against the wicked men of the Tevental Imperium. The Maker kindled the sun's flame, scorching the land. Their crops failed, and their armies could not march. Then he opened the heavens and bade the waters flow, and washed away their filth. I am Kefer, disciple of Andraste and commander of her armies. I saw these things done and knew the Makers smiled on us. Alright, so that opens the door. Okay, let's save. And I think we'll end it here and continue to the next room in the next episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.